Victoria on One Life to Live, Erica Slazer. And the Emmy goes to... Erica Slezak, One Life to Live. This is Erica Slezak's record-breaking sixth Emmy out of eight nominations for her role as Victoria on One Life to Live. She previously won this award in 1984, 1986, 1992, 1995, and 1996. Erica joined the show in 1971. Oh, my dears, I am so thrilled and humbled. I want to start by saying that I salute the seven ladies, other ladies in this category. They are the greatest dames on earth. We all had lunch together yesterday. We spent four and a half hours laughing. I thought they were going to throw us out of the restaurant. We had such a grand time. I love you all so much. Thank you. Oh, my goodness. Thank you to ABC and Brian Franz and all the executives there. Oh, for letting me keep my job. It's the best job in the world. Oh, my goodness. Thank you to everyone at One Life to Live. Thank you. To our executive producer, Frank Valentini. To our writers, uh, current writer, Dina Higley. And a big thank you to Michael Malone and Josh Griffith, who wrote the heart uh, transplant story. Thank you to our directors, our producers, everyone there, the crew and the cast. and. In particular, my Robin Strasser and my lovely children on the show, Brie Williamson, Melissa Archer, and Dan Gauthier. I would not be here without you. I thank our hair and makeup and everybody. I want to say a special thank you to two people who have been important in my work over the last years, and they are Jill Farron Phelps and Gary Tomlin. I have such admiration for your talent and your intelligence and I was so pleased and privileged to work for you. And I thank my family. You are my heart. Brian, Michael, and Amanda, I am nothing without you. Thank you to the Academy and the Blue Ribbon Panel. Thank you. Mom, mm -hmm. you look amazing. Wow, do you have a date or something? Yes, I do. I'm spending Valentine's Day with the man that I love. Hey, Mrs. D. Hello, Rusty. How's our fixie today? Handsome as ever? Handsome as ever. Well, it looks like I could use some sun. <laughs> Couldn't we all, huh? Yeah. Uh, well, my shift's over and I gotta go. Okay. Good to see you. Good night, Rusty. Valentine's Day, darling. I brought you some flowers, sweetheart. They're red tulips. And actually, they're exactly like the ones that we have in that part of the garden that you like so much. You know the part that I planted for Megan? that you and Megan had known each other. <laughs> you would have loved each other. You know, she died on Valentine's Day. Here in this hospital. But she always loved red, so I planted a red garden for her. And I put it right outside the kitchen window where I could see it. to watch you out there, sweetheart. You'd stand out there watching the sunset. And I didn't even need to see it to see how beautiful it was because it was all over your face. And then you'd come back inside to me. Tastes good. <laughs> and now, 
The table is set. That's so pretty. Oh, yeah. All right. You know what? These are my absolute favorite evenings. Plans, no company, no nothing. No garlic. Not tonight. Oh, I guess you think you're going to get lucky. Cross my mind. Ben's red sauce, not from a jar. He needs garlic. You're right. I'm getting better than this. No. It doesn't get any better than this. Oh. You know what? I'm going to remember all of this. I'm going to remember this meal, this kitchen, the flowers, the garlic. Forever. Forever. So will I. Especially the garlic. You remember that, don't you? You gave me so much. You know that you're really the one who taught me to enjoy my life. And to live it. Just, just live it day by day. Everybody. Uh, I don't know. I'll sit outside for a while. Get some fresh air. How are you? Well, I, I had a dream. What? A bad one? It was about Ben. I could see his face. He, he was standing in, the, in a field, in this field of white flowers, and then all of a sudden all the flowers turned red. And and he, he was looking at me, and he smiled, and he waved, and he turned around, and he walked away. And I called him, and he turned back, and he smiled again, and he said something, but I couldn't hear him. And I think something's wrong. I think I, something's I, I, happened to I him. I think it's just a dream. No, will you please do me a favor? Please go see if he's all right. Everything's fine. No, please, please, please just go see what so happened to I'll him. I'll go if you just promise me to calm down. Please, please just go. Okay, please. I'm going. I'm going. I'm going. Calm down. No, if, if something's happened to him, I need to Please, know. Listen to me. I'm going to get one of the kids to I feel like something slipped away from me. Please, is he okay? Mom. I have some really good news. Um, a heart's become available. A really good, strong, healthy heart. But before Larry can, um, schedule the surgery, you have to make a really important decision. Why? Uh, I already okayed the operation. If, if there's a heart available, then... That's, that's it. That's just it.
make Ben's heart. I don't know if I can do it. I'm really scared. I know. I know we're all really scared, Ma. We don't want to lose you. But I don't know it. if I can live knowing that I took his life. Hey, you didn't. Okay, he couldn't go on living like that. His will just gave out. Because of me. Well, if that's the reason, then it was his choice. It's his last wish. It's just all happening too fast. I know. Look, uh, while you were unconscious, Larry came to us, and he asked us to make a decision for you. Uh, and we went ahead and decided to go on with the transplant. They're harvesting Ben's heart right now. No. no, I know. Mom, listen. You don't have to go through with this, all right? You're you're awake right now, and you can make the decision. What do you want to do? Are you here? I always thought that if you died, I would know that you were with me. wants to give up and come and be with you. Please, please tell me what you want me to do. I don't know, are the children right? Did you give up your life so that I could live? Because I don't know if I can do that. in the room. I love everything about you. I love you with my whole heart and my whole soul. And I will forever. I love you so much. If you're 
love. Could cure me, I'd be alive forever. I'm counting on that. I love you. <laughs> and I always... I always will.